Hey everybody, James Christopher from Fanboy76, and I'm here because Halloween is almost here. We are just about a week away from the spookiest holiday of the year, and our Halloween episode of Fanboy76, where we're talking all things Exorcist movies with Daniel Baldwin, will be out on October 31st. So it leaves us about a week, and I started to think... I know that everybody likes to watch Friday the 13th or The Conjuring or Halloween or The Exorcist or Saw or Scream around this time of year, though trust me, nothing is scarier than last night's Game 7 of the ALCS. But what are some other spooky horror movies that maybe fly a little bit under your radar? I'm a cinephile. This is what I do. And so I thought, how about one a day to kind of get you in the spirit for one of the most cinematically driven holidays out there? And so today we're going to discuss the 1960s movie Village of the Damned, not to be confused with the 1995 remake, which is just okay, even though it is Superman's literal last movie, I think, at least before his accident. So 1960s Village of the Damned basically is about a small village in England that goes dark for six hours. Anybody that tries to go into the village passes out. Six hours later, everyone wakes up. Everyone is fine except all the women of, of mature age, I was going to say breeding age, but that sounds a little cold, are pregnant. So we get this really spooky, creepy mystery about how all the women got pregnant. This includes women that are virgins. This includes women whose husbands are in the military and deployed at the time. There are a lot of questions that need to be answered. And when the answer comes, they come in the form of of one of the best horror movie tropes out there, creepy kids. Don't let the black and white scare you. Definitely dive into this movie. It's brisk. It moves at a really good pace. I think it's about 90 minutes, so definitely something easy to consume, and you won't regret it. That is 1960's Village of the Damned.